Hey, this is Jeff with the Eternity Shore, and today is kind of random projects day. So I'm introducing this time by saying I don't really know how much I'm going to get done, uh, but we'll see. We'll take it step by step. So I had duct tape on there and it was doing an okay job, but we're still getting a lot of water in. So I have purchased, in the meantime, another short-term solution, uh, and this is uh, Gorilla waterproof tape, double-sided, uh, cut it, peel it, stick it. I'm going to do it from the outside and I'm going to try to do it from, from the inside now. So we'll see how that goes. This. I gotta peel it and then stick it as fast as I can. I still know whether I should stick it this way or this way. Probably this way. All right, all right, so you can see I tried to stick that down even further the, where I had glued that and didn't hold. So I'm gonna try to smooth that out even more with a utensil. Okay, so I, I smashed that in there pretty good, but when I went to use it, the tool I think I cut a little bit of hole like right in here so I'm gonna take another piece and, uh, and put it down in there and then I'll do the inside okay so I added a third piece right here because there's a big gap here too and I don't I don't think the water is actually coming in there I think it's just coming in here but why not I'm here I might as well do it okay so again this is what it looks like on the inside Right here, I had shoved a bunch of these little, you know, door gasket type of eyes, and that wasn't really helping. The tape wasn't really helping. So now I'm going to do a piece of tape in there. Okay, so that's a really tight spot. I can't get my fingers really in there good. So I think I did the best I could with what I got. Um, I never heard of waterproof tape before. I just googled waterproof tape. <laughs> After I put the duct tape on, I thought, well, how about there's something called waterproof tape? So I'm gonna go grab some lunch and come back, and uh, I'm gonna be probably cleaning the uh, some of the top side. But in any case, I'm gonna I'm gonna run some water on that after it has a little time to set and see, see if there's any difference. So that'd be great if, if there was. Uh, the other thing that I've done when I'm here, and I'll show you, is if you recall, I put in this new, new faucet here, which is doing well. The water pump's not on, so it's not gonna pump out water. But um, what I didn't do, well, because I didn't have any more, was I didn't add, plumber's tape so I just unscrewed this and you can see that white in there I added plumber's tape tightened it up and uh, I think I think we're ready to go I've tested I turned the water on there's no leaks so speaking of this area right here this is where the ice maker was and because we've been having water problems I just took it out and brought it home but I like the space and I don't know if we got a fridge, we'd probably have to cut out more. This is pretty tight space, and I, I don't really want to do that. And because we've had water back there, 
not just here, but had water up and over there, I'm nervous about just putting this, putting something in here that can't be moved. So if you are a boater and you have a suggestion on what to do with this space beyond, you know, using it as a, I got a garbage pail I can put in there, which is very convenient. Notice there's a, you know, there, there is an outlet. So, uh, could be another appliance, I guess. I don't think so, but what would you do with this space if you had it? You know, maybe, yeah, I just don't know. So open to your suggestions about that. Okay. A couple other things I'm doing while I'm here is, oh, I just made a mess here, but I'm cleaning this area with just boat soap. Then I'm going to do some cleaning detail like I used before uh, to get some of this stuff out. Although that may be coming out itself. I'm going to scrub that down so this is nice and clean. Um, hose it off. And then I'm going to start doing compound. I can't do the whole day compound. But I'm going to try to do kind of this uh, sun pad area. I'm going to try to, to do that with 3M compound and see how that goes. one project of doing compound right here is not going to happen I but it's okay um, I had done that waterproof tape over there and I wanted to test to see if it was holding it's holding pretty well but I actually discovered that there's a different issue and I should have known this before I didn't test it out so I just sprayed water to find out exactly where that water is trickling in uh, and it is trickling in where I, I did that tape, but it's also trickling in, I think from here and either here or here, uh, probably here, um, not around here from there over to the, the tape is, is holding. Okay. So this all has to be removed in the off season and resealed. I can't, I can't do it now. So what I'm going to do in the meantime is I'm going to use this waterproof tape and I'm going to do a section from here all the way to here uh, to see if that will at least help with the issue because we're getting water all the way down near the mid -bird. This is the result of my work. We're going to do the waterproof tape all the way here this is this is really where one of the main problems was it's not over there and i just heard about a product called sikaflex uh, my my boat neighbor just talked to me about sikaflex which is something i can use uh, in the meantime and as is customary at the end of a work day the boat is a mess the things that I did, wasn't going to do, decided not to do. So, got to clean everything up. Stuff everywhere. Stuff everywhere. Stuff everywhere. Engines are running. Uh, I went out on, on Monday with my friend Lenny. I don't know when that video is going to come out. Maybe it's already out again. So the engines are running, that's great, and uh, just minor things there. So we can take the boat out and enjoy it, and that's really why we got it, to be able to do it. Some of the stuff you just kind of have to ignore, or else it'll drive you batty when you're on board. Like, I can't enjoy it. So my goal is to enjoy this boat. So sometimes it's if you turn it off, not doing any work, we're just going, we're just going boating. But I think that the issue with having a leak, it's just 
it's really constant, right? So it rains when we're not here, we come, and there's water in, you know, down below the mid-berth, sitting up on top of that area, that storage area. That just, that one thing is driving me insane. It can't happen. You just, you just feel like, you know, yeah, can't happen. So, so there's really three ways to, three ways to go after that leak. Uh, maybe four, right? I tried duct tape, that didn't work. Now I'm doing uh, waterproofing tape. That's probably not going to hold for that long. Maybe the Sikaflex, I think it's called, will work. What has to be done is in the off season, you take the entire windshield off. So this this all just comes lifts off, which obviously you need the help of other people. Um, it's a labor intensive job, but it lifts off. You redo redo all the gaskets, whatever they're called, all the glazing, and uh, and then hopefully you don't really have to worry about it for the next ten years. So that's all for now. Uh, we'll see you again uh, real soon. Uh, oh, the other before I, before I uh, take off, the boat name should be coming soon. So that'll be fun to put the boat name on. So then we can really have Eternity Shore and have a new picture of the boat. Like I need a new picture of the boat, a standard picture that isn't has the old name on it. So that's exciting. The transom's all ready for that and. Um, We'll film that when we put on the, the name of the boat. All right, that's all for now. Ciao.